All right, I'm just going to get back on her face and see how far I can get. I'm not happy with the, the face as it is right now, but I'll work into it. We'll start recording. All right, I'm going to have to work on those ears, but uh, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to. I've got to smooth out this clay a little bit, and I'm using, again, Ronsonol lighter fluid to do that. Because working this small, you get a little rough areas of clay, and I just want to smooth those areas out just a little bit. You know, I was trying to remember what exactly got me into sculpting. What inspired me to do it. And uh, a lot of it had to do with my early years living on Guam as a kid my mom and dad had some ceramic sculptures or I don't know what they're called they're not they're they're gift well, I don't know how to describe them they're like a fisherman or a, a tradesman or something like that from Japan and these were Japan, Japanese uh, ceramic sculptures. And uh, they sat on a oriental 
black lacquered table that my mom and dad had that later on in my life I as a kid I managed to destroy which I could kill myself for now that was a beautiful table but I remember the detail in the faces everything just so highly detailed and so professionally done I mean these were not catchy type sculptures. These were really well done, like the artist took great pride in them. And that really got me, got my imagination going back years ago, back in the 50s. And then going into high school, taking a ceramics class, and I had been reading a couple of books at that time for my English class. One called uh, Naked Came I, which, which was a story or a book about uh, Auguste Rodin. And uh, one called The Agony and the Ecstasy. Also a book about Michelangelo. And... Uh, you can still get those books. They're fantastic books on, uh, with, you know, this, the writers just really knew how to develop pictures in words. And uh, those books got me inspired to try sculpting. And well, actually, I, it didn't get me inspired to try sculpting. What got me inspired to try sculpting was I took a ceramic class and I couldn't throw a pot to save my neck. So the teacher said, why don't you try sculpting something? And I won three scholarships with my sculptures back then. So it, it, it's been a long process to this point where I am now at 77. I'll be 78 in October. And, uh, the Lord has certainly blessed me with an ability. And I am always thankful for that. All right, I'm going to let this uh, dry a little bit, and I'm going to start putting her hair on, get her... Well, i got to work on those ears. I may have to do those tomorrow. I'm, I've just spent so much time just doing the detail work on the, these, this face and this head. And uh, I may just have to do those ears on Monday because, or tomorrow because I'm telling you, my brain is about fried right now. I'm not like I was when I was young. I could do this for hours. I go for two hours at a time now. All right, I've put the head back on the body to just see what it looks like. I really like it. It's starting to work out. I've got, I was going to have her head turned away from him, but I want her head to look like she's starting to turn her head towards him, like uh, the song is having an effect, having an effect on her, and uh, the head is in perfect proportion to her body. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this dress. A lot of things I got to figure out yet, and. Uh, all right. Good night, everybody. Sorry, there wasn't much more than just working on her face, but that's uh, something that's very important is that face. See you tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.